is my door. This is really cool, by the way, because it is a toy coin machine. And anyway, I have to put fake coins in it. And so it's actually really easy. Here are the coins for the coin machine. And so you've probably seen my other video where I do the coin machine. We're going to put a coin in. It's on by the way. It we just need to put a coin in. And I will try to do this with one hand as best as I can. It's a little tricky because of the different, like, the, I mean, um, different controls. It's not the same. And sorry if this is dusty. I actually didn't notice it was dusty. Anyway, I think it's fine. Anyway, you can take this part off and in order and you just put this board in i love how they have this board for it and i put these coins in my winnie the pooh honey drawer that i made what's super neat about this honey drawer is that i made it for my winnie the pooh costume like maybe two years ago anyway it was a wonderful costume and so to the left of it is my coca-cola coin bank that my boyfriend gave me i really love it he gave me this last christmas well the christmas that just passed and i got a few coins in it now i had most coins in it before i had 21 dollars worth of coins in here and i actually put it in my bank today and here is my glasses build a bear on wall for my build a bear clothes. It opens like that. And some of these are in build a bear clothes. This is actually for baby alive doors and for other doors. And Yeah, the only thing that isn't built a bear is this outfit right here, but it might fit a few built a bears. And I got some shoes back in, I mean, there, and some accessories. This is a mic, by the way. It used to seem. I don't know why it doesn't seem anymore. Here is my book self, by the way. I have a lot of things on it. This right here is a bracelet or ring organizer, and I love it. This mug right here I got for Valentine's Day like three years ago. This mug I got from my boyfriend. He went on vacation there, I guess, five years ago. And I actually got this Hollywood, um, I actually forgot what it's called. It's for th the producer or the director that uses it. Anyway, I got this at a garage sale.
I got this for my sister or brother. I guess this is in Germany. I'm not sure. I think this might be a city or a town in Germany. And my boyfriend gave me this mug as well. I love this. This right here is a crystal price core. I really love it because, well, mainly because it makes music like that with the um, wheel. It makes different kinds of music. Anything classical with I kind of, well, that I like, I have to admit, but others, no, I don't. I feel like this is tango music. Yeah, that's it. Here's a pizza of me and John. We went to a prom together at my second high school. And this was just recently, of course, by the date. And I really love that ugly Christmas sweater. Here is a LPS store box. I made it, of course, since it there's no such thing as a real LPS store box set. And I have an, uh, I have plenty of LPS playgrounds. This is one of them. That's a salon. This is a Sopkins Sue Dazzle um, display, I guess. By the way, this will be my new mascot from now on. And this is a Sopkins ice, um, I guess an ice bucket. This is a core for LPS. It actually is remote controlled, which is so neat. I got this at Savers by the way. This isn't remote control. This is actually a Polly Pocket bolt, which is perfect for LPS. This right here is a playground. I think it's an LPS play playground. Let me know in the comments down below if you recognize this as an LPS playground. Anyway, I'm pretty sure it's LPS because of the poor and because this port spins. I know LPS has that. And this is what it looks like inside. And so... Those are my crayons and my, yeah, pretty, pretty much crayons. Here is a motorcycle. It's actually, I actually got it at, as seen on TV at a more, by the way, it's the perfect size for LPS. Here are some of my parents' books. I'm, we I'm actually willing to read this one, by the way, because it's a classic. It's supposed to be really good. And also, I got this from, I think, Savers and it's Hopkins. This I, this I got, 
I think I'd say was it's a good better center for LPS. This is a Hello Kitty um pencil case, but I'm using it for a jewelry organizer. This I will be making a video. And so this is what it looks like on the back. And this is my Sopkins More Mort um, Cast Year set. Here are some yearbooks and some baby books, etc. I want to show you guys my artwork, by the way. You probably seen it in some of my other videos, but I'll show it to you again if I ha if you have seen it. And so this is an LPS version of Rocket Raccoon. Here is an LPS fox and its name is Galvis, just like the sword. I made this when the first in movie came out. Also, I really love kawaii stuff. This right here is supposed to be a super realistic chihuahua, but it doesn't really look too realistic. I made my own shoes, by the way. I just printed out bucket feet. This, however, looks super realistic. I really love this pixel. And here are some more LPS pixels. This is Buttercream Sunday. And this is Sugar Sprinkles. I love how these drawings came out. And here is a Grumpy Cat pixel that I kind of painted. This is my old username for YouTube and my old mascot. I miss her too much. Also, I designed a wedding dress and I hope that this dress can exist. I drew Penny Lean in Japanese anime and I th still think she looks so cute. This is a pizza that I haven't finished yet. It's almost finished though. It's supposed to be, I believe, a Mortis. And this is the bunny from Hop named E.B. This is him in real life. Again, I didn't get a chance to finish this pizza. But I know I will. This picture I actually did for an LPS art contest on YouTube. And I came in second place. I'm so happy. And here is a picture of a tropical beach with a sunset. This is a Japanese anime picture which I love so much. This is actually a chihuahua costume. This is Japanese chibi animation. I mean anime which I love. I really love this drawing. And I drew some of the fashions. By the way, I'm a huge fan of this LPS series, and I really love how this pizza came out. This I wish that I finished, but I will definitely finish this pizza. And here is my slime that I made. Uh, I made a YouTube video of it. You might want to t also check it out in the description box below this video. This is my LPS house and I love that there's a fist in a tank. Yeah, it's kind of hard for me to get out for some reason. Maybe because of this and being in the way.
Yeah, it still is hot. I got it. I love how this goes around and this goes up and down. I really love this part too. Also, what is neat is that this comes down. This is actually magnetic. It's some pets are magnetic. They have magnets on their paws, and so when they when you put a LPS pad with a magnet under here, it comes down. And here are some of my LPS accessories, and I got many different kinds, mostly some, um, yeah, um, rubber band, many rubber bands that are for bracelets. I mean DIY bracelets. Here is my binder of, of the drawings that I did. And I did this when the first, I mean the second Tim Monk's movie came out. Here is a drawing that I did long ago. And it is, it's actually an African drawing. This I also made long ago. I actually made those drawings with a two-draw book, but I was always an awesome artist. By the way, this takes place in Australia. This is a wombat, for those of you who don't know. And this takes place in Hollywood, California. This is a tabby cat, and that is a Boston Terrier, I believe. And this is also in Africa. This I did a long time ago too, and I wish that I finished it. 